Hey, it's TC, everybody, and I am the founder, and uh, some might call me the pin monkey of Uwinta, the developer of Death by Game Show. And we're doing a little guide here on using the editor, the level editor in the game. Sometimes we call it the level editor, sometimes we call it the challenge maker, and other times we refer to it as the challenge master. It's like master of the puppets, right? Master! 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 You can get where I'm going. All right, let me turn my audio down here a little bit. That's very nice. Very, very nice. All right, so a lot of challenges in the game. There are 50 to start with. All the way from the first one to the O-Face Cup. And you want to make sure you show our, uh, your O-Face. Ow, ow, ow. Exactly. <laughs> I'm off on a little tangent here. Now you can get to the uh, editor by going left from level 1. And you unlock the level editor by uh, finishing level 9-7. Which I probably put you about 15 levels or so into the game, and now I've launched the level editor, and you create a name of your level, and you can make the levels. This is what we use to make the levels in Death by Game Show, and you can do the same thing there. So, All right, so we're on the main screen now, and of course you can actually upload your levels to Steam, and then uh, if you want to uh, tweet me or Uwinta, you can tweet me at HeyTC on Twitter, or you can tweet Uwinta on Twitter at at uh, Uwinta, ironically. That's O-O-I-N-T-A-H. And say, hey, I just uploaded a new level to Steamworks. You guys should check it out because it's the sexiest level in the history of Death by Game Show. In fact, it may be the greatest level since John Romero made a, a level, probably some 21. Oh, crap, he just made one recently. Unbelievable. So anyways, you get the idea there. Now you got to choose the objectives here. You can, you can do destroy, survive. Etc. There's a, a number of options, and uh, I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing here, so I can tell you. Oh yeah, so you like collecting items. You need to collect so many items. Blah blah blah. Uh, the enter the time, 60 seconds. That's uh, how much time on each level. So you can have up to. Uh, I guess you can technically have up to about 99 minutes, 99 seconds. I suppose that would be something else. Your target score you want to enter. And then uh, after that, you want to enter uh, what uh, basically you want for the bronze score to beat. And then you also want the silver score. And then finally, the gold score to beat. So the target score to pass the level is whatever you need to pass the level. If you're collecting X amount of money. All right. And then to beat bronze, you want to increase it a little bit. You don't have to. You can put it as, I guess, 250, what would that be? 250,000 and one. Anyways, I'm going to put uh, gold as a million to beat it. And then you confirm an exit. And then you can enter an objective. And uh, here it's kind of more of a description on what you want to, uh, what you want to uh, say. You can say anything you want, I suppose. But earn, i.e. collect, 250,000 big ones, baby, indeed. And then the secondary objective is uh, kind of a description of uh, how much time or the ramifications of collecting that amount of money. So I'm going to put in 60 seconds and, uh, yeah, hit save. And uh, we're good to go there. Now I can uh, reset the editor, quit the editor from here, or uh, go to the options menu. Go ahead and return to the editor. And uh, should I reset it? No, what do I want to do here now? Let's see here. Let me uh, think about what I'm going to do next here. Quit the level editor if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. All right, so what kind of planet you want on, I guess that's what we're up to now. And the ground textures, you can enter in different numbers, and you can see the ground textures as they come up. Eventually, yes, we'd love to have little arrows that you click left and right, and you can just go through them really quick. That's something we want to add to the level editor. The one thing that I love about Death by Game Show is we have a plan. We want to support the game. We want it to evolve. So one of the things would be um, making the uh, level editor a little more friendly to use. But right now, you know, you're just entering some numbers in. So just uh, pop in and out of there, and you can kind of see what's what there. And, uh, yeah, you get the idea of it, right? Uh, and then the underground texture, the sky texture, of course, uh, can be anything you want. Sometimes our, um, <laughs> our uh, underground textures, I think we want to work on those a little bit as we go by over the next couple of months. So. 
that's something we definitely want to do. And now trees texture, you can do the same thing there. Now, the trees actually can change to the different items on the um, on the on the uh, in the level. So there's cacti there. Number two is rock, and you got mushrooms. Back to rocks. We'll put some rocks down here. You can set the density level, and then the distance, and all that other good stuff, and then the de uh, the the distant texture as well. You can set. So you can uh, make a lot of changes here, and uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty much self-explanatory here. It's a little boring, but I wanted to do the walkthrough on this one. But you'll get it. You just you just fudge some numbers, and eventually, when you're done fudging. Be good to go. He may need a wipe, but hey, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Everybody needs a wipe after a good fudge. Yeah, I eat a nice piece of chocolate, a nice piece of fudge, and oh, I got chocolate. I mean, fudge all over my mouth, and I got to wipe up. So. Of course, that's what I mean. What do you think? I mean? All right, so now I can walk around with the uh, my little uh what character. He's the main character in the game. Uh, what? Very much a nod to not sure and idiocracy. Uh, Joe Bowers, of course, is not sure his real name. Is this, uh, is a uh, what, uh, not sure's illegitimate son, perhaps, perhaps? Since this is set in the 26th century. So, there you go. Now, that's the rocket pad. Of course, the rocket uh, pad is uh, burning up the city, fight a light. Oh, that's Rocket Man, I guess. But you get the idea. So you can move the rocket pad and you can set the, uh, you can set the uh, properties based on the down arrows there. And then you can have the rocket land at the start. You can make it invincible. And then uh, you can give it 10x health. But most of those apply to um, having uh, some of the other buildings giving it 10x health and making it invincible. Uh, so basically you couldn't blow up some of the buildings in the game. But uh, you can never really blow this one up. But you can make it uh, appear at the start. So let's say you wanted to make a level where you're, the rocket has landed and you're on the other side of the planet. You've got to run all the way around the planet. Fight your way around the planet to get to the rocket. And once you're there, baby, you're home free. So that's what th that's where that would apply um, in this scenario. All right. So what else do we want to do here now? now? Now, those are the bounders over there on the left and the right. Those are the uh, electronic or the electric fences, basically, of love, where uh, any uh, droid runs into that electric fence, they're going to get uh, smoked, basically. Whether it's your droid or the opposing droid, it's going to electrocute them. Now, you, as the main character in the game, well, you, you get a pass on that. We actually did have it initially where you'd get uh, nailed, but, uh, yeah, no. Not so much anymore because you get tossed in an electric fence and you die, man. It got kind of frustrating sometimes because sometimes you're battling right up against them, and, yeah, it's a little tough. All right, so what I'm doing here right now is placing some buildings, and now, obviously, this is always for the um, AI in the game. And uh, I placed a Rectal Furnace, a GoFu, also a Kent Brockman Killbot Factory, which I'm editing now, which is also known as a Droid Barracks. And then you can uh, set a number of things in the Droid Barracks. Now, the, 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 let me say that again. The, the, I can't talk. <laughs> the delay there is how many seconds once the level starts before the droid starts spawning. So it makes sense. And then the gap is how many seconds between the spawns by the droids. And then does it decrease over each time? So meaning if I set the gap at 10, that means the next gap would go down to 8 potentially. So there you go. And then the maximum number of droids and the minimum number of droids that will uh, spawn. And then down here in this section, as I point to it, can you see me pointing? Oh, geez. This is radio, yeah, dingus. Exactly, it's radio and doing voiceover work. Not, <laughs> not pointing, but you can with the with the mouse you can see. And and now I can set which droids I want to spawn there, and then you can set uh, different cues um, that apply. So you can loop the cues. So if you have uh, three different cues, you can have, you know, say a bunch of uh, flying droids coming out initially, and then you can have a bunch of. Um, I guess you could say like a health droid and a blocker droid, which is the hammy, which is the pig-looking guy. And then you can have another set, which are more attacking uh, droids, which attack the player. There's certain uh, droids that will attack the player, like the Matachin and the uh, Pinkerton. And then there's other droids that will just attack buildings, like the Mogi and Pete the Screwdriver. So that's a little tip there for gameplay. 
And then once again, here you can uh, click the down arrow. Obviously, the up arrows to move the buildings, the down arrows to select there. And I made, uh, I'm going to make that invincible. And then they turn uh, kind of a purplish hue. Exactly. A very uh, sexy word, in my humble opinion. I think if I was to ever change my name, or at least uh, live in the 26th century, I would change my name to purplish hue. I'd be like Huel from Breaking Bad, if you remember Huel. The, uh, <laughs> one of. One of Saul's, uh, one of Saul's uh, hired goons, along with Kubi. So there you go. All right, and then the, as far as the prizes go on the level, that's the spinner. So if you want to give some uh, nice love, you can do that, and then you can test them out. So oh yeah, and there you go. I just won some energy. So if my gimp is ever down, I can win some energy. So all right, so I can uh, pull away these prizes. Da -da 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 -da. And then uh, give the droids as prizes, because obviously there's five consumable droids, so you can win five consumable droids. The other droids, including the Doc Peapot, the doctor, the uh, the the chick that has a uh, bedpan for a head, she um, she's uh, an energy-based droid. You win her a little later in the game. And then, of course, there's the, uh, the buildings Whoa. you can win. So there you go. I'm going to spin it, and I won a Spitter Swallow. Spitter swallow. Now those guys, those spitter swallowers are great for a uh, little defensive action and knocking down some of the droids coming at you. So, all right, so a little check, check, check. A little, I guess, a feature in the future we could just uh, have a select all or deselect all. So that would I need to make a note of that here actually to uh, add that to the um, the what a guy list, not the what a guy list, the what a what a, what do we need list for the game. And then there's item presets as well, which. Uh, um, well, first of all, let me uh, mention that the level rewards are disabled in the editor because basically you can kind of cheat the game if you uh, did that. So the level rewards are disabled. And this actually, you won't even see it in the in the new builds of the game when you play it. So ignore the level rewards. And the item presets are the items that you can win uh, as a preset by beating the level once you get back to the studio. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to exit out of this level, and I'm going to see what it's like. I, I just exit the level, and then uh, it takes me to, I guess, the latest level that I've won is what a big shock I have. And I'm going to scroll back to the left there with the arrow keys and uh, back to the challenge. Oh, and there's my level, level name here. I'm really quite ingenious, aren't I, when I lay, name levels. I'm like, wow, level name here. Oh, my God. And you can see all the other stuff got uh, set up there. And I'm going to launch the level and play my level. Earn 250,000 in 60 seconds. My level's a little barren, but I've got a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all that stuff. Now, this is, I got to go. That's on preset levels. Yeah, I, I was explaining that incorrectly. So, sorry about that. The preset levels are if you want to do a preset level, you determine what, uh, what items everybody has uh, on the level. So. I basically have everything except Doc Peapot there as far as droids. I have no buildings, and I have uh, some other power-ups. All right, so now you see what's happening here. We've got the Invincible Cannon Mess and the Invincible uh, Rectal Furnace, so I really can't do anything there. I'm going to launch a Mogi, take out that uh, RDSLK, but the Mogi went flying by. Some of these droids are kind of dumb, but this is the future where everything is kind of dumb. All right, I'm getting pushed back here, man. I'm getting... Oh, my goodness. Uh, they're just killing me, man. I got the money, but I'm not going to get... Oh, jeez. So, yeah. <laughs> you see that the droids started spawning way too fast there. So you get an idea on uh, what you shouldn't what you shouldn't be doing. I lost all my money, too. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's go back to the, the challenge maker, as we call it. Uh, and uh, let's load up the uh, upload name here which is uh, the level name here, I guess. And let's go over here and edit some of this stuff now because it's way too damn hard. All right. Let's move the droid. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? We want to change the gap. Definitely change the gap because those droids were spawning way too damn fast. I'm going to change it to 30 seconds. Have it decrease by two seconds. That's probably fine. The maximum, yeah, I don't want any more than, yeah, let's drop that down to three. Uh, the minimum gap is, uh, well, 20. So then it kind of, uh, yeah, randomizes a little bit. I got all the droids selected except Doc Peapot there. I guess all the droids would spawn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. Let's 
applied that. I'm going to save that. We should be good to go there. All right. I'm going to run around like a running fool because I'm wearing my Kill Bill jumpsuit. I'm a regular Beatrix kiddo. All right. I'm going to put some uh, peripheral stuff down. I'm going to put some small signs down. Now you can uh, increase the size of the signs by uh, just, uh, the shift key and then uh, using your mouse button. You just wink, 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 make them whatever size you want. Um, create a large sign there. And make it all big and sexy. And then, uh, anything else? Uh, no, let's edit some text here now. What should I write? What is something that is um, interesting? Oh, there you go. Um, uh, scale signs with right click and drag. Oh, yeah, why was I saying shift? I'm not sure what I'm doing there. But, you know, what do you want? I, I'm just involved in making the game. All right, create building. Now, the same goes here for, well, it's actually the up and down arrow keys to add stuff to the uh, different buildings there. And these are like the harvesters. This was actually a byproduct that was going to be in the game, but they got moved to kind of background stuff. So these harvesters, we were actually going to be able to harvest stuff in the um, in the, um, in the the ground. But then we uh, made some changes, and it just made sense to, uh, you know, not uh, use them, but we definitely wanted to use them in the game, so we uh, put them in as kind of the scenery, so to speak. So there you go. All right. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned, you can use the up and down arrows to um, to make uh, increase the size of um, increase the size of the background buildings to give your uh, planet a little personality. And as Jules Winfield and Vincent Vega would tell you, personality goes a long way all right let me move this sign over here make it a little smaller and uh yeah and then there you go background uh buildings that well i can't spell all right let's <laughs> that is <All> right. <laughs> nothing, nothing like ending a sentence in a preposition is that a preposition or is that a proposition either way i am game all right, let's try again, and uh, let's save this, and uh, yeah, anything else? Uh, I'm going to reduce this to 100,000. Everything else is fine. All right, I better change that to 100,000. Da, da, da. Anything else? Uh, I guess we're looking pretty good. You grab buildings, put them wherever you want. And, uh, Ten times health on that bad boy. No, I'm not going to do that. I want to be able to take that... Uh, want to be able to take that cannon mess out. All right. So back to the big shock that you have, or the big shock that I have. Somebody's got a big shock, and I don't know who it is. Hey, yeah, uh, Beatrix Kiddo, uh, my little big boy pants. Even the host, Wild Bill, there is mentioning. All right, let's play my level and see how I do. Temporary reconfiguration. That is correct. I love my uh, little purple planet. It's, uh, it's very uh, sexy, in my humble opinion. I hope you're digging on it as well. All right, so let's see. What do we got? Okay, we got a couple of Watus that have spawned. I can take those bad boys out. Ooh, some, uh, some gold coinage. I love me some. I am the one who knocks, indeed. You know, the Pinkertons, those are, those are the Pinkerton droids, and those are inspired by um, Walter White himself from Breaking Bad. Lots of pop culture stuff in this game. We love pop culture. Obviously, Idiocracy and Mike Judge. A big influence on the whole kind of game world itself that we did. And then, uh, yeah, I got uh, everything from Pulp Fiction to uh, Arrested Development to Dodgeball of all stuff to uh, Game of Thrones to Breaking Bad, as mentioned, The Sopranos to The Godfather. Lots of pop culture stuff in here. So there you go. I won the level 1.1 million in 14 seconds. I only had to earn 100000 And, uh, all right, let's wrap it up. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Other than that, uh, yeah, we're good to go. I hope you'll uh, make some uh, levels for the game and uh, upload them to the Steam Workshop. And make sure you tweet me at HeyTC on Twitter or at Uinta, O-O-I-N-T-A-H. And make sure you subscribe to Uinta on YouTube. We done? We done. I'll see you in the emergency room.